finally back with another mascara review and I hate that you have to see me with this boring background and the lighting's probably off but I'm working with a new camera and um, all my cameras keep dying on. This mascara review is going to be a unique one because I'm actually going to apply a crap ton of coats and y'all are probably going to be like has she lost her mind and yeah I have lost my mind so this is Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. This is CoverGirl's newest mascara. Currently in stores. It's probably been in stores for the past month or so. I've been seeing it everywhere. And it looks like this. It is pretty much identical to all of the other Lash Blast mascaras. There's a lot. There's just so many different Lash Blasts. And the difference between this one and all the others is that this one is supposed to give you volume and length but with zero clumps meaning you can apply 30 coats and it still won't clump <clears throat> that's intense but of course the only way to find out for sure if this actually works with 30 coats is to actually apply 30 coats i've never applied 30 coats of mascara in my life but right here today we're gonna do it i'm not sure how well you can see that but um yeah the bristles are pretty nice and well defined it's Similar to all the other Lash Blast wands, except again, it's got the little curve to it. Which to me, the curve in a wand doesn't make or break a mascara for me. I mean, all it does is really help you get a little bit more in your lashes. But if it were straight, I still wouldn't have much of a problem with it anyway. So yeah, not a waterproof mascara. So if you do wear it, keep in mind that if you've got watery, if you're in a watery situation, or you're in Florida and it's humid all the time, or you're crying, it might tend to smudge on you a little bit so keep that in mind when you're looking for this mascara so we're gonna take the wand and apply our first coat first coat gives me a little bit of curl um, but then again I did curl my lashes earlier this morning so that's probably why it looks like that the lashes are coming out a little bit more please excuse the changing colors in my camera I don't know why it's going like from blue tone to tan to I don't know I'm just glad I have a camera that actually works yeah there's my second coat again it's giving me a little bit more length and a little bit more volume and now I'm going to go ahead and apply 28 more coats <gasps> let's go We're actually at 15 coats right now, so I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an update as to what my lashes are looking like after 15 coats of mascara. And um, oh, my lashes feel heavier, but I don't really have too many clumps. They definitely look like super coated eyes, meaning you can tell there's an obvious difference between my other eyes. So yeah, it is definitely... Goodness gracious, I'm sweating like a banshee. Sorry. You can definitely tell that uh, I'm wearing mascara. So let's go on for 15 more coats. Oh my gosh, this is insanity. <laughs> 30 coats of CoverGirl's Clump Crusher Lash Blast. Lash Blast Clump Crusher, however you pronounce it, mascara. Oh my gosh. <sighs> That's like a freaking workout, y'all. Uh, for the record, I am a little bit of an insane woman to have applied that many coats of mascara. But they said, here in this press release, it says it provides 200% more volume and zero clumps even after 30 strokes. So, can you blame me for having to push it to the limit to and, see? Um, first of all, you can definitely tell I'm wearing mascara. I look like falsies. And y'all know how I feel about false lashes. I'm too lazy and clumsy to apply them. So the fact that it makes my lashes really pop out, I'm loving Let's get closer to see if there are actually any clumps, though. I mean, look at those lashes. 
insane. The thing is, is my lashes do feel a little bit heavier compared to these eyes or these lashes over here. These eyes. <laughs> um, but it doesn't feel so heavy to the point where it's uncomfortable. So I'm very impressed at how well it wears. But as you can see, I really don't have any clumps at all. It's just dark, dark, lush lashes. I've got some length, I've got some volume, my lashes look nice. Good to know that this mascara actually holds up to its claims. Oh man, I'm like burning up. But yes, uh, clump pressure actually doesn't clump. So that is good to know. If you're looking for a new mascara, I highly recommend this one. I can't really compare it to the original Lash Flash because I don't have it on me. But um, I was a big fan of the original Lash Blast. It's my favorite. I use it many, many times. I think it's a great, great mascara for those who have smaller lids and smaller lashes, but they really want to bring them out. The wand is perfect. This mascara, I'm amazed that it hasn't clumped. So I don't know how it compares to the other one, but if you want to try something new, I think you'll like this one, especially if you like the other Lash Blast mascaras. So <sighs> that is that. Wowzers. Yeah, go get it. I think you'll like it. Oh, baby clumps and I are gonna go like soak in a ice cold bath now because I'm like a sweaty, hot woman right now. See y'all later.